Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer upper. Hey, nerdlings. What's up, nerdlings? It's time for a new toy, and we were nice enough to wait until you got here before we opened it. And it's not my toy. It's, it's not, his toy. because it's Legend of Zelda. <laughs> oh, man. So we got an Octorok Popper. Now, we actually picked this up from GameStop. Mm -hmm. Once, maybe twice, I wondered if I should grab it, and then we just, we just went for it. <laughs> now, we actually got this for $14.99. And I think that's kind of what held me off on it. I was like, I don't know. It's kind of a silly thing. We have not seen this there since. Nope. They I said they only got one in stock anyway. Now, something that's interesting on the front of the card is Death Mountain here in the entrance to Kakariko Village. This is Ocarina of Time. I honestly can't remember if there were Octoroks in Ocarina of Time. At least not as cute as this. Something that I like about the packaging is the fact that he's bubbled up but he's, you can see him <laughs> underneath. So you can see his little leggies. So I, th I thought that was kind of neat. There is a map back here. And to be honest, I'm kind of having trouble placing the game because I'm seeing elements of Ocarina of Time, but then also elements of what I feel to be Wind Waker. And there's- Don't let Cap hear you say that. There's some parts that almost reek of Majora's Mask. So this is kind of interesting. And now, And that's all there is to pull him out of there. Oh man! So first of all, he's uh he's got a pretty good size to him right here, which is kind of great. Oh, look at that! I'll just <laughs> I'll get you next time, Link. Get them like this. <laughs> Kind of a firm plastic, although of course he gives just a little bit so he can poof, poof, shoot those rocks at you. What are these? Do they do like this? Kind of. So you've got his little rock balls. Oh, that's a good noise. <laughs> I love that noise. One of my favorite noises is pulling a cork out of a bottle. That sounded lush like, didn't it? <laughs> the balls are. <laughs> I don't know how to say this without getting demonetized. <laughs> They're firm yet squishy and a little fuzzy to the touch. <laughs> They actually look and feel like little tiny kiwis to me. They're not gonna, you know, hurt anyone, so it's okay to hit your friend in the head with it. But don't, don't hit your friend in the head with it! You wanna try firing one off? Shh. Phrasing. <laughs> and now the cat only has one eye. Ah, it looks better that way anyway. As you can see, this is the more standard, iconic look of the Octorok, very much harkening back to the original days of Zelda, less so than the monstrous Octoroks of some of the later games. <laughs> and I think that works really well. Something also to note is the fact that this is kind of a fairly unique toy item for The Legend of Zelda. Yeah. And that You don't see a lot of the bad guys. Right. Well, not much of the bad guys except for, uh, of course, like action figures occasionally. Yeah. yeah. But beyond even those action figures, when it comes to Zelda stuff, it's usually the insignias, the emblems, you yeah. know, the, the, uh, the crests, stuff like that, the iconic symbols that go on things as opposed to just toys. Yeah. Well, there you go, nerdlings. The Legend of Zelda Octorok Popper. Again, we found this at GameStop. We haven't been seeing them elsewhere or at GameStop since, but hopefully you can find one because this is a very fun addition to the collection. And uh, be sure to like, comment, Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Head over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it, nerdlings, we nerd it. That Death Mountain looks, the way that Hyrule or uh, the entrance to Kakariko Village looks. Let's try that again, Tom.